In Tampa, times are good for putting up new downtown buildings. But for renters looking at 25% increases, it can be sticker shock. Capitalism is great. Everybody wants to make money. But at what cost to everyday people who make the city run? If my garbage man can't afford to pay rent, my clerical workers can't afford to pay their rent, how do we operate? Tampa officials say they're dealing with the downside of the real estate boom. Our housing has become critical during that time. Actually, it's become a crisis. Mayor Jane Castor originally wanted one million city dollars to help people pay their rent. Today, she upped that to five million, saying minorities and working class communities could be driven out by high rent. Our diversity is one of the main factors that defines Tampa as the greatest city in the nation. And the last thing that we can afford is to have individuals pushed out of the city limits because they can't afford to live here. The city opened a website for applications, tampa.gov forward slash RMAP, which stands for the Rental and Move-In Assistance Program. The assistance money would come from the city's general fund, tax dollars, for a wide variety of eligible residents. Not just for people you might think of as being low income. Under this plan, you can be a single person earning more than $70,000 a year and still qualify for rental assistance in Tampa. Mayor Castor says the city will look for state and federal funds to help, but for now, Tampa will go it alone. She'll ask city council Thursday to approve $5 million to help people pay some of the fastest rising rents in the country. In Tampa, Lloyd Sowers, Fox 13 News. Now the mayor says she is not proposing rent control. There are possible conflicts with state law, and she says it could harm the city's economy.